We have seen how to perform many different configurations and how to change your online store. But one thing that we actually did not consider is what happens when you're actually changing, for example, the theme of your site, of your online store, and a customer wishes to open your site. So in that case, you have to go into something that's called a maintenance mode. And in this tutorial video, we'll have a look how to set our Magento Go online site into a maintenance mode. Now I'm sure that you have probably seen this before with many other web pages. When you actually try to open it, you'll get that page that's saying that the site is currently in a maintenance mode and that you cannot access its content. So we can do exactly the same within Magento Go system. And setting your online site with Magento Go is really easy. So the first thing we have to log back into our account and open the dashboard of the store and then we have to navigate to system. Under system, if we scroll all the way down, we'll find configuration. Now once again, this is the configuration page of our online site, online store. And this is something that we have actually seen before. Alright, so once again, all the actual settings are presented here and all the configurations and you can actually change those configurations as you need. But if you look under the general and you actually go all the way to the second bottom one, you'll find the maintenance mode. Now, if you click on the maintenance mode, this will now open a new page which is actually called a maintenance mode. This page is used to actually adjust and configure your maintenance mode within your Magento Go online site or online store. So basically we have some maintenance mode options here and if we expand this we'll actually see the first one at the top is actually enabling the maintenance mode. So basically to set your online site, online store to go into a maintenance mode you would firstly have to select yes here. Alright, so now when a customer tries to open your page, they will not actually be sent to a home page or products page, they will actually be sent to some other page. And the next option will actually specify which page this will be. So this is the maintenance mode page. Currently it's set to 3, 503 service unavailable. But if you click here, you'll actually find all the available pages that you currently have for your online store. So basically there is a 404, not found one, home page about us, customer service, enable cookies, 503 service unavailable, privacy policy and contact us. Ideally you would have a separate page for the maintenance mode. So basically you have a page created just for that purpose. So when a customer tries to for example go into your products page and you actually for example changing the theme of your page they won't actually be able to open the products page. Rather they'll be actually redirected to the maintenance page. Alright, so at the moment I do not have that maintenance page and I can easily create it and if you remember in one of the previous tutorials we have created a page that's actually called contact us so you would do exactly the same so you would go to CMS pages and then you would go manage content. Now if you're unsure how to actually create a new page I would suggest you go back and you have a look at that tutorial video where we actually created contact us page. But for our purpose I will actually select probably something like about us page. So every time a customer now tries to open for example a home page, the main page or the landing page of my online site, they will actually be brought to about us page. And that's the only page they can actually have a look at for the duration of the uh, maintenance mode page. However, for example, if you are adding new products to your online site, you will probably like to have a look at what it looks like before you actually go and let other people browse through your products and everything else. So basically you can select a number of people who will actually be able to go into all the pages. And to do so, you would have to enter some information in this field here, which is actually called the white list. All right. So you would have to enter the IP addresses of all the people you wish to have full access to your online site, online store. So basically all the people that will be able to go and browse through everything, open all the pages, their IP address has to be written here in the white list. 
down the bottom you'll find the current IP address. So this is the current IP address of your system. First of all, you will put yourself, so like I said before, if you change a theme or you have added a new product, you'll probably have you probably want to actually test that before you open it up to all the other people and your customers. So you would enter your IP address which is given to you in this field, you would actually enter it in this text box here. Should you have any other people that you actually wish to allow to access everything, so all the pages within your online store you have to enter the IP address here and you can separate the IP addresses with commas so once you have done that you would go up here and save config once the config has been saved from that moment on your site is actually in the maintenance mode and all people except for the people who are in the whitelist will actually be able only to access the about us page so once you have finished with all the work so once you have finished with all the editing, adding and customizing of your online store, you will come back here and then what you have to do is go right here and instead of yes, you will have to select no. Once you have selected no, you can go straight to save config and actually hit on that button. From that moment on, your site, your online store is no longer in the maintenance mode and all people can actually go and actually browse all of your pages. So once again, setting up your site in the maintenance mode is quite useful and basically you would restrict the access to your online store to a couple of pages, actually to just one page, the page you specify here. and ideally like i've said this would actually be a maintenance mode page so once you have finished with all the work on your online store you would come back here select no and then you would actually hit on configure on save config so as you have seen putting your online store into maintenance mode and taking it out of the maintenance mode it's quite easy and like i've said in many cases it will be very useful and you will probably come to use it a lot